What is going on everyone welcome back to Switch Life Garage and today you already know I'm back at it with Del Sol working on the interior trying to get it real nice I'm really loving the progress right now but before we start this video I want to give a huge shout out to Brad from Old Souls if you guys haven't uh, checked out their content go ahead and view the channel He's been working on it and I see him slowly starting to build up in subscribers and views. Check out some of his videos and subscribe to his channel. Now he did send me out a letter and it says, Hey buddy, love the soul content. Keep vlogging. Samba green is a hella dope color. Thank you Brad from Old Souls. He also included some, some decals. Samba green Old Souls decals. And you guys could get them as well. Just hit him up and go ahead and support his business and his channel. So thank you Brad from Old Souls. I really appreciate it and I really appreciate that you support my channel. I support your channel and your business as well. So I hope you guys go ahead and check it out. Subscribe to his channel. Check out some of his uh, content. I know he's going to keep uploading just like me. You know, we're, we're busy working full-time jobs and we got things to do as well as make videos you know I love making videos but uh you know bills gotta get paid right I really wish I could do this like every day and create a video for you guys every day as time moves forward and if my channel keeps growing I would actually be able to do that and have like my own garage and stuff and that would be super dope but anyways guys let's get right to this video today I'm gonna be cleaning the interior cleaning the dash fixing the cluster fixing the steering wheel putting some of the panels back on just making sure to get this thing really clean you guys know me I'm like really OCD especially when it comes to interior you know you spend a lot of time in there while you're driving in traffic listening to music hanging out with friends, going to the mall, whatever it may be, you spend a lot of time in there so you want to make sure it's clean and other people get in your car and you know they're not just looking around and be like oh man this car is nasty, it's sticky, the, you know the center console has a whole bunch of crumbs and stuff no one likes to get in that type of vehicle I know I spend hours probably, well not probably I spend days just cleaning stuff up. I know some of you guys may not understand it, but I don't know. I'm just that way, and that's the way I view it. Let me go ahead and show you guys how it's looking right now, and uh, let's just get started on this thing and get right to it. So going to be working on the dash. Going to be taking out the climate control, take out the cluster, and take off their steering wheel. And along with taking off the cluster, got to take the... Uh, the hood covering right there, uh, the trim. So really just going to clean up this dash. Try to make it a lot more presentable than it's looking right now. The eBay looking cluster, uh, it's just looking real dirty. You can see the steering wheel has seen better days and the horn button looking a little funky there. But let's get right to it, start taking everything off. cluster along with this wiring the switch and uh, they actually cut some of the insulation on one of the plugs for the cluster and they wrap these around it explains why I was having problems with the uh, illumination on the cluster when I was driving it now here's the uh, climate control nothing wrong with it just gotta clean it up Got the airbag and the steering wheel, which is pretty messed up. The upper panel, the little bezel, plastic bezel, looks kind of faded. I'm not sure if I'm going to paint it or I'll clean it up first and see how it all looks and make a decision on that. And so here we are. We got the uh, SRS cable, the reel. Now here's the insulation they took off, so I'm going to have to fix that before I throw a cluster right back on. But for the most part, it's all looking good. 
Just gotta clean this thing up and uh, spend some time. So you already know, gonna do my thing and get in the zone and start cleaning. I did put some McGuire's on there, McGuire's Ultimate Protectant. This is what I use on my interiors. That's what I use right there. I did put quite a bit because once cleaning everything off, you're really drying it out. So for right now, it's going to have this much protectant on it just so some of the oils and stuff could get back into the vinyl and just uh, protect it. As you guys could tell, everything nice and clean even the switches turn signal wipers but it looks very nice now and I did put some McGuire's all on the uh, panels sun visors rear view mirror and a little bit up there on the target top So I'm now going to be working on the cluster. Took off the little extension for the switch and the relay. So I'm going to take these gauges out. I have this other cluster here that I've been having. And it has good gauges in there. So it's actually going to change the mi mileage on the odometer as well. So this one you could tell is at 197, 694. And the original one for this Del Sol is 216.531. I'm not doing this to cheat anyone out, but after you take off those needles and put these other gauges on, it's never the same. And so just going to be changing it out. Obviously this one is automatic, so just going to be using parts from both to make one good one. found out when taking apart the cluster is that these are actually just overlays so they were able to put it on without actually um, popping off the needles it did have some glue on there you can see there it kind of damaged the uh, speedometer I mean the attack uh, and um, that one was, came out pretty good but when the actual this little overlay here when it's on there you can't see it just a tiny bit right there but that doesn't really matter same for the speedometer you know it's damaged on there but when the overlay is on there it's perfectly fine I switched out the uh, the time clock and the little car logo whatever because that one I don't know if you can see it it has some some uh some glue residue on there so this one is nice and this one I had to switch out as well because same it had some glue residue not sure if you're able to see it but it has it on the letter there I was able to keep the original mileage on there I just gotta finish cleaning this up I already cleaned up the lens looks nice went over it with some Meguiar's ultimate compound there is a little crack. I don't know if you guys are able to see it. Tiny little crack, hair crack. But this is what I use, Meguiar's Ultimate Compound. I cleaned it up, but with the Ultimate Compound, I went over on the plastic to get rid of some of those 
some of those scratches on the lens over those years and you guys could tell it looks pretty clean another thing I took off was for the odometer this was broken inside it I had to take off this one here so it'll go on this cluster alright so clusters all finished up got those overlays taken off and put in the gauges they're all cleaned up as well looking very nice just finished cleaning up the buttons they're pretty clean you could take them apart take them out of their little like their little pod there and it just goes like that and there's a lot of dirt that gets hidden in between so take those apart and just clean it up real nice and these will just slide in and they'll lock themselves and that's that and just going to throw these on all right so cluster with the top hood bezel is put on along with the switches looking nice already installed the climate control as well and I will be putting in the lower dash panel here um, along with that little fuse cover here's the lower dash panel if you guys never taken this off I recommend that you do because you know that panel is under there and it collects all this dust from over the years and like on this Del Sol this thing was thick with a whole bunch of old dust and just sitting inside the car I had forgotten I took in this uh what is it like reinforcement out of the lower dash panel so I gotta put that on first so the plate is on there now I just need to throw on the lower dash panel Alright, so lower dash panel is all put in. That's pretty complete. Now I'm going to put on the column cover. Now I just need to find a screw to hold it in place because if you guys remember, this thing was holding on with like a wood screw and a washer, which was ridiculous. But um, I'm going to make it right. All right, so now I got the column cover panel put on. It's starting to take shape nicely just got to put on that steering wheel if you guys remember from my other del sol i swapped out the stock steering wheel for a jdm del sol steering wheel and so i have this extra one laying around and you could tell it's in a lot better condition than that other one that other one is just trash there's nothing i could do about it and this is what i'm going to throw in there just got to lightly clean it up and then i'll be able to throw it in there Alright, so it looks a whole lot better than that chewed up used steering wheel. Um, I mean, this one's used as well, but you know, it looks a whole lot better in this car. Definitely refreshes the look. Take a look at the dash. Dash looks nice. The gauges. column cover panel lower dash panel installed and then you got the steering wheel installed all the right screws in the right places so we don't have any of these shaky panels happening um, also put on the little panels that's for the airbag I know they were missing before I had to change out the cruise control and this the airbag is still from the old steering wheel because it's a different connection from the other airbag that I had previously and this is 93 the one I had it came off of a 97 also the cruise control switches how to switch those out so I'm using the old ones that were on the steering wheel because the connection is different and for those wires that were over here the insulation taken off and 
you know they wrap those other wires around it for those eBay gauges wrap those up the climate control nice and clean and then on the passenger side emptied out and cleaned up the glove box as well so very nice everything nice and clean also here on the side you know I know a lot of dust and stuff collects right there but you could tell this dash is looking amazing now instead of looking unpresentable and pretty dirty looking a whole lot better Well, right guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys made it to the end, I really appreciate it. And you're a real one. I appreciate that. And, uh, man, you know, this Del Sol is coming together nicely. I know I take quite a while to get to this thing. You know, I only really have my weekend to really work on this thing. I wish, like I said in the beginning of this video, that I could do this thing every day. But, you know, I got to do what I got to do. I'm trying to see if I'm able to do, like, two uploads a week but I don't know we'll see it's gonna be a time crunch but I'm really proud of how this thing came out looking a lot nicer you know I'm starting to feel a lot more comfortable with this car and uh, to me that's what really matters after we finish the interior I'm gonna move on to the engine I know some of you guys want to see some engine work to be done and uh, you know I kind of get tired of cleaning stuff but it's just what has to happen especially with the older car but let me know your guys' thoughts. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Like the video. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. You know, it's free. You're already viewing this video. You're probably going to view one of my other videos. So might as well be subscribed and get notified. Alright guys, that's going to be the end of this video. Like I said before, I really appreciate you guys viewing it. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one, alright? Alright.